Good afternoon, everyone. It is Tuesday afternoon, November the 5th. It is Election Day across the area. So uh, hopefully uh, you had a chance to get to your local polling place. And if not, I do believe polls are open until about 7 or 8 o'clock this evening. So there still is plenty of time to get out and exercise your right to vote. Welcome to the afternoon edition of Whiteboard Weather. This is the Whiteboard Weather theme song. In case you haven't heard it lately, it's Skip and Jeff from Good Brother Earl and photos from PittsburghWeatherNow.com. And it is whiteboard weather for a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, some of you are commenting that the screen is all messed up. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, leave and come back. Um, all right, we can try that. Uh, what I will do then is, is it still messed up? Let me know, is it still messed up? How does it look now? Looks good to you. All right, so if it looks good to you, it's good to go. All right, so we don't need to leave and come back. Um, welcome to the afternoon edition of Whiteboard Weather. Uh, it is a little better out now than it was before. Of course, a rainy morning. Uh, has now given way to a drier but cloudy afternoon across the area and still chilly. We talked about it this morning that temperatures would not be moving much and they haven't um, over the course of the afternoon. It is Tuesday afternoon and we are brought to you by Country Hammer Moonshine uh, and this, my friends, is the latest trend. This is hot. This flavored moonshine. And this is the place to get your flavored moonshine because Country Hammer Moonshine is a limited distillery that specializes in flavored moonshine. They have over 50 flavors that include their standard as well as their seasonal flavors. And you can get them online or you can get them in one of the four locations where Country Hammer Moonshine is around Western Pennsylvania. They have locations in Bethel Park, North Huntington, Robinson, as well as Clareton. Or you can reach them online at countryhammermoonshine.com and you get 10% off of all of your online orders. And what do we mean by flavored moonshine? Well, this is what I mean by flavored moonshine. They come in a variety of sizes, but here are some of the flavors, apple pie, adult chocolate milk, pumpkin pie, salted caramel, or root beer float. These are the airline miniatures. So you can sample different flavors and see if you like them. And if you do, you can size up to a half a pint or a fifth, but these things, are hot. Let me tell you, see, that, that's like an airline miniature. That's what, probably like uh, two ounces, maybe three ounces. I don't know. Um, it's small, but it, uh, it tastes good. And you can get it all, as I said, at Country Hammer Moonshine online or one of the four locations across Western Pennsylvania. So there you go. Visit my friends at Country Hammer Moonshine and support them 
because they support whiteboard weather. Uh, it is a chilly weather day across the area. Uh, let's get into some particulars about the weather. Let me get uh, my rate or my satellite up here because I wanted to show you the satellite. Uh, and on it, there we go. Got it up and ready. We, the apple pie is good, Rick. It's good. Yep, it is good. Margie, it's good. And especially uh, the moonshine is going to be big this holiday season at parties um, or as gifts. Good idea. All right, let's Let's check out. This is the radar. Uh, doesn't look as bad as it did this morning. Uh, there still are a couple spots of precip there in northern Armstrong County, but that's the last of it. Everyone else is seeing just clouds right now, but maybe not for much longer. Current temperature is 46. You got a west wind at 6 and a dew point temperature of 40 degrees. Here is the way it looks on satellite. Now look carefully. You can see the darker areas up here. That's where there's clearing, where you see those darker gray shadings. The white is where there's still fairly thick cloud cover. So we're seeing clearing skies from north to south. So it would appear from the latest satellite image that my friends near Newcastle up to Mercer, maybe northern Butler County up around Slippery Rock would be seeing some sunshine poking through the clouds or at least a brightening of the skies late this afternoon and I do think everyone will see clearing skies as we head down through this evening because we have high pressure building in you can see it sitting right over the Midwest as we move ahead to tomorrow morning Wednesday morning that shows that bubble of high pressure right overhead that'll give us a dry day tomorrow with sunshine uh, from really start until finish. Now, we may see a few clouds late in the day, but not much. I think it's overall generally mostly sunny day. This is Wednesday evening. The high starts to make that shift over toward the coast. And here comes your next system. Low pressure near Lake Michigan late tomorrow, trailing cold front back across the central plains. Let's move ahead to Thursday morning. This is the breakdown. Your low is up there across... Lake Ontario, the cold front draped down across western PA. Thursday morning afternoon, we will have rain showers. Let me say that again. Rain showers as temperatures will be in the mid-40s. As we get toward Thursday evening and Thursday night, that is this particular map. The front is through. The atmosphere does begin to cool off. And where you see the blue shading... That's where we'll likely see some flakes and flurries beginning to fly Thursday evening and Thursday night. This is not going to be a big deal. Let me say it again. This is not going to be a big deal. I think we'll have a period of some flurries and light snow showers Thursday night, which could produce a dusting of snow on the grass. So unless you drive on the grass which I hope you don't, there will be no impact Friday morning. The roads will be just fine. That is a forecast. That is not a fear cast because that is not what I do. Very quickly, if you're wanting some warmer weather anytime soon, got bad news for you. That big B means below normal temperatures, a high likelihood of below normal temperatures through the middle part of the month. So this is for about the next 10 days. Temperatures are going to average below normal. And with regards to precipitation, the N over Western PA means near normal precipitation. So that means nothing above, nothing below, but we will get occasional rounds of precipitation. So it will stay chilly for the better part of the next 10 days. So that's a breakdown of your maps. Now, before we get over to the whiteboard, uh, I'll run down quickly some birthdays for this election day. Um, Roy Rogers, the late Roy Rogers, was born on this day. Odell Beckham Jr., currently of the Cleveland Browns, wide receiver. Uh, Chris Jenner, uh, the mom of the Kardashians. Um, 
Brian Adams, the singer, summer of 69, still an all-time favorite of mine. Uh, Bill Walton, basketball player, now commentator, basketball commentator, uh, and lover of the Grateful Dead. Um, Art Garfunkel of Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, Kevin Jonas of the Jonas Brothers. And Bubba Watson, the golfer, if you're a fan of the PGA Golf Tours. National Donut Day today, and it's National Love Your Red Hair Day today. So if you are a redhead, let the, the main flow today and own the red hair. Um, all right. I saw some of you commenting, um, saying, boo, snow. Let me, before we get to the whiteboard, just let me get on the soapbox a minute. Um, you will hear me, when I say snow, that means that we will have accumulation. When I say flakes, when I say flurries, when I say a few snow showers, that generally means it's probably not going to be a big deal. Um, so that's just the vernacular that I use. Um, it's not the vernacular that everyone else potentially uses, but you'll know when I say something what I mean um, because I come from the school of forecasting, not, say it with me, fear casting. All right, let me get over to the whiteboard. Hey, don't go anywhere, Howard. No peace out yet, brother. We haven't seen the whiteboard. Let's check it out. Here we go. Here is your whiteboard. For a Tuesday afternoon, brought to you by Country Hammer Moonshine, countryhammermoonshine.com online. This is the hot trend, the flavored moonshine trend. You can visit them online, or you can check out one of their four locations, North Huntington, Clareton, Robinson, to name a few. That is Country Hammer Moonshine. Sunset tonight, 513, rises on your Wednesday, 655. The average high is 56, and we'll be below that number over the next 7 to 10 days. Friday nights, lights, partly cloudy skies, low to mid 30, so a chilly night for the Whippeal playoff games. And as we take a look at the forecast, clearing skies tonight, 29 degrees. Tomorrow, the pick of the week. Mostly sunny, 49, so a nice little rebound with our temperature there tomorrow night. Clouds are going to start to thicken back up, 36. On Thursday, 44 degrees, overcast, rain showers arrive by mid-morning, and then we'll see occasional rain showers through the afternoon. Thursday night, flurries or a light snow shower, 28 degrees. We could... Get a coating of snow on the grass. So unless you drive on the grass, unless you walk all over the grass, unless you run on the grass, you will not have an issue or a problem Friday morning. You may see a coating of snow on the grass, but that shouldn't cause you any problems. 28 degrees, the overnight low. Friday, the flurries, snow showers should be gone. 38 with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. So certainly a chilly day. And then Saturday, partly sunny skies and a high of 43 early in the weekend. So that is a look at your whiteboard for a Tuesday brought to you by Country Hammer Moonshine. CountryHammerMoonshine.com is where you find them online. There you go. So uh, just to set the record straight, one final time, um, rain rain showers Thursday as you're out driving around. It's probably going to be Thursday kind of like it was this morning. Rainy, drizzly, damp, overcast, chilly. Thursday night is when the atmosphere cools down, but ground temperatures are still, and this is important, ground temperatures are still probably at or above 50 degrees. That is important because as we see a change over in the atmosphere to some snowflakes, as they hit the ground, they'll generally melt. Um, most of them will melt. Now, at nighttime, there's a better chance that we could see some of it stick. But as I said, it would only stick like on the grass, in the mulch beds, not on the pavement. So, don't believe the hype. You're not going to have a problem. There you go. That is a straight scoop. And then it just stays chilly through the weekend. All right. 
That, my friends, will wrap it up for a Tuesday afternoon. Um, I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. It's wake up whiteboard weather. Until then, visit the website pittsburghweathernow.com. We have links to the merchandise shop. We have links to our fun facts of the day, which this week focus in on some November weather records. We have links to all of our photo galleries. You keep sending me in those fall photos, and I love it. And we continue to add those photos uh, on a regular basis to continue to populate the galleries. And um, I ask you to please share. Just share whiteboard weather. Hit the little share button. Right when you get done, just pop, hit the share button. Do me a solid. Let's share it. Let's push it out there. Let's continue to grow our community, our audience, our whiteboard weather watcher world. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Go vote. Peace.